adversity, adversity, adversity. We're raising money for season one of a comedic web series called Adversity. The logline is eight writers in a TV network diversity program designed to cater to PC culture, compete for a staff position while being led by a racist, washed up TV exec left over from the days before cable. I'm Amelia Solomon, I'm from Long Island, New York. Hey, my name is Tamir Yarden, and I'm from the Bronx, yo. Yeah, and I'm one of the producers and one of the writers. I play the role of Langston. I normally get to play like, you know, gangster characters. This I get to write a character that is uh, unlike myself in a way, a lot of ways. I'm Matt McHugh. I'm a writer from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, I think I'll play Chad. Um, he's the white guy in the project. It's a satire! We'll primarily focus on racism, and sexism and PC culture where we upend it and kind of poke fun of our current climate because things are so serious that this is a kind of a way for everyone to laugh and take a departure away from the horrible news you hear every day. It's kind of like a goldmine for writers because every day there is some new breaking story that we've already decided to slightly address and then we can even use those stories more like Harvey Weinstein. We have Kevin Spacey happening. I mean, Cosby's always kind of on the back burner. Um, we have Brian Singer happening. Right, because he's black. Oh. Who's your favorite character to write for? My first uh, instinct is to say the character of Jessica Greenberg, who's based on myself, but that's pretty narcissistic of me. What's 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 the one thing that shocked you during the process? How much work creating, running, and producing an entire web series can be. We need money for ooh, advertising the location, uh, permits, uh, post editing, music, sound, sound guy. Um, does he fool or girl? All girl, all girl. We are diverse. Cast and crew, camera equipment, insurance, didn't miss anything. The significance of having a transgender character, you know, they're people and they want their stories told. It's just, just that simple. And they really had their stories told that much. And they haven't had their, you're right, and they haven't had their stories told much. Especially, especially in comedy. In comedy! <laughs> <laughs> that's good, I like that. But that's the truth, that's the truth. So what's your ultimate goal for this project? Uh, to make people realize that there is more to laugh about than to get angry about. I think to show various people coming together, being very aware of their differences, and finding out that everyone is really just as much of a jerk as everyone else, but they're also just as good-hearted as everyone else. What we want to do is equal the play. We want everybody to have the opportunity to work. I know for me, going out as an actor, I'm slotted for certain roles. I have dreads, I'm dark skinned, and so I'm pigeonholed. This is an opportunity for all of us to work. We have what? We have gay, we have lesbian, we have black, white, Jewish, straight. First of all, the, 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 the amazing thing, we have one of the creators. She's female. She's that cool, so. And our crew is, what, half female? Okay, that's not normal. That's not the norm. So we want to give everybody a chance. 